Hey, yo together and very welcome to another episode of the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays. Today on Odyssey Letter Edition. Yeah, that's right. So let me just check. Everything seems good. And here we are in the top left hand side in the red. It is the Protoss player Don Andre. And in the bottom right hand side, me, the Blue Terran, Alex Usher. So, excuse me if I'm not super hyped for this game. It's not because maybe it was bad, potentially. I don't know. But I, I rarely cast bad games. I mean, why would I? It's because it's early in the morning. <sighs> Sorry. And I was scared by a spider already. So, you, you would think that I should be awake now. Actually, the opposite is the case. Random stuff happens. So for for here we let, okay scouting yeah looks fine. Pylon gate gas and this pro potentially going to throw down an axis. I wonder why you will, would ah oh, there you go ah slowly saturating the gas yeah that's fine. As we on the way as well. Look at the perfect timing of those. They perfectly met in the middle almost perfectly. So that's that's really nice. So I saw the probe. I know, uh, stupid probe. Uh, and because I want to go with a command center on the low ground myself, I need to react here. Uh, if I have to pull an SUV down there from here, just in case he decides to attack, then that's way too late. That's way too late. So I did scout nicely. There, there you go. Look, look at this. That's so nice. But here's the Reaper, he overstepped his welcome. That's how you say, right? And now it dies. Let's, let's, let's. Bam. So the Reaper got one kill so far. Interestingly, no resources lost, however, that works. I mean, meh. But okay. And yeah, that's, that's, that's how it is. So 22 against 21 harvesters is quite good for me. Especially with mules on the way. So there's the mothership core. Not much I can do about it. Pylon in good position as well. All I can do is <laughs> knock off one pro, be a little bit annoying, but that's it. Oh! Oh! Okay, good reaction here. And so far nothing special happened. Looks like I'm going for a 2 one one in this game. As I do in most games. Unless it's TVT, but otherwise, yeah, solid opener. Can potentially deal with everything. So it's it's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. There we go, star port. And Stim, okay. Sure, why not? There soon should be a reactor on this one. Uh, a little bit late to be honest, but I'm not a professional player. So that's that's fine. And Robo and two more gates after a Twilight Council researching blink. So I, I think we won't see a Nexus at four minutes. <laughs> but maybe on, on uh, at five. Five minutes could be the case, depending on what you want to do, because there's a robo as I said. Yeah. Double gas. I'm not sure about him going for a base anytime soon. I don't think so. Interestingly, he's still only on one adept and one mothership core, and that's enough to deal with lots of aggression. So we will see how he does against all those marines. If I would be a professional player and have nailed down the 2 one Medivac should finish at. Yeah, at around this time now, maybe five seconds later, but as you can see, that's not the case. Still, the timing is okay with the five minutes. Oh, nice. Super annoying. But I could be right at the store step at the five minute mark if I played this correctly, which I didn't. I mean, it's not bad. It's still a good timing, but it could be way better, of course. 
And sadly, I, I never figured out what's the difference. What, what are Bian and all the other pro turn player doing in order to get this timing done? I, I checked several times, but I wasn't able to figure out. It's nothing different in the build order. So it has to be something uh, with maybe stacking SUV, scouting yes or no. Small details which, which lead into that big of a difference. Which definitely can be the case. So here we go. Here we come. Stim to win. One stalker that. Pylon that. Nexus needs to get cancelled for sure. Uh, yeah, whatever. So there's the observer, observes nothing but two depots. One depot. So that was not too bad so far. Uh, there's the observer, I might scan, kill it, maybe not. Blink is finished, but what do you want here to blink against all those marines? Ah, oh, two stalker lost again. Another cancel needs to be done, so... Now 200 minerals lost in total. Now we could blink after it. That's a little bit risky in my opinion. Ah, oh, he gets it! Nice! Did he blink? Ah, oh, those dogs are so fast. But he needs to cancel it potentially again. Oh my, so those marines were definitely worth it. Uh, losing one medivac unnecessarily. So if I lose the second one that would be super bad. Stalker are... A little bit faster than the medevac and he gets it, so I would say even trades in total. Yeah, quite even trades. Sure, 200 minerals more, but even trades overall. The, the only difference is he's oversaturated, he got his tag on the way, but I have my base finished, so I should be in a better position. Also going up to 8 barracks now, uh, the observer still scouting everything. Which is not really helpful for me, to be honest. But yeah, he has the watchtower. I like this move. The Reaper scouting <laughs> again. Double observer right here. I don't know why. Uh, now he fixed it as well. This observer, lovely. Look at that! Wow! You could make. Uh, you can go on a vacation right here. That's that's awesome. Ha! <laughs> nice. I never knew that. That's so cool. Oh, big shot. Ah, or here. Look at that. Double vacation. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Is there even more? Not really. Oh, we could find some damage here. Ah, potentially not. Ah, getting one mule. Not too bad. If he gets out alive here, definitely worth the trouble. And I would trade a stalker for a mule. Oh, now he's losing a lot for that mule. That wasn't worth it in the end. Oh, no, 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 no. But one stalker for a mule? Maybe, but four stalker for a mule? No. And an adept. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not worth it at all. I, I, might, I might pressure the issue here. Press the issue. Pressure? Press? Press. Not pressure. Press. But I don't. I go back. And a very wise decision, upgrade wise, he should be... Oh no, he's not ahead, wow. He should be ahead, but he isn't. And I think that refers back to the three time Nexus cancel here. If I'm not mistaken. Killing the debris, nicely. Getting some more gates, so he's up to 10. Yeah, 10. 10, 10 gates. Not too bad. 10 gate double robo. Oh wow, that, that's a lot of production here. That, that's a lot of production. Mm, this 3 medivac drop. I don't know about this move out, that's pretty damn random. 3 tanks, yes, nice, but without anything to buffer. It, it looks like I want to I want to lure him lol, into, into this position, or onto this position, so that he doesn't See the, but yeah, he, he sees the medivac drop. He knows it's coming. Oh, it doesn't get a kill here. So eh, mm, five five HP left on this medivac. He doesn't go for for this. Um, 
Probably because he's scared of the tanks. Could be the case. This edit was so bad. And uh, now the units reunite. 2-2 two, two, not on the way for me. A big mistake. The second starport is ready, which is nice. The command center is ready, which is nice, but not landed nor morphing into a planetary fortress. So another attempt to drop here. I like the I like the Phoenix. I really like the Phoenix. It's it's looking good for me, I would say. Oh, not too bad. Triggering the widow mine with the Phoenix with the hallucination. He goes in like that. If I would have the tank shoot at the Stalker and the Colossi, that would be nice. On the other hand, I'm dropping right into his base. Oh, full energy Mothership Core dies here. He can clear this position right nicely. On the other hand, I don't know about this here. It's It's looking dicey. I can't deal so much damage. He needs to go back. Killing the Medivax is nice. What did die? A lot of probes, a lot of units. And I could potentially kill the pylon. Ooh, plus two denied. At least delayed. And where are the Colossi? They are coming back. There you go. Will I get the forge? It's so important to get the forge. I get it. And this is not gonna work. A little bit late. I killed the robotics bay, so that's nice. And two, two, two adapts, yes, but two sentries, okay. No, this isn't working for him. There's a tank with this as well. This is nice, killing some SUVs, but not too much. Ah, no planetary here for me. Mm, income wise it's looking better for me I would say now. Here's a warp prism, you can warp in aggressively which he's doing. Still no liberator, not many vikings on the field, random scan. Uh, I see he's coming. I see he's coming so let's let's have a look here. Tank are shooting here. And uh, this is a really good position with the bunker, a turret and a siege tank. And the siege tank seems to be in a good position here for the stalker to be exactly shot. He goes for the bunker, no repair on the bunker, so the bunker falls. But the flank is real, the flank, ooh, he pushes in. Nice force field, will be enough. The first Colossus dies, the second one standing on, on top of the turret dies as well. The oh, that's so, so bad for the Protoss here. He might well not go for the tank, will he get it? No. Uh, and now I would say that's game. Mm, he, he killed a lot of SCVs. On this base, yes, but guess what, guys? I'm playing Terra and I have seven mules on the field. Bam! So the income should skyrocket. Look at the income. Almost 3,000 here. Oh, well, maybe not. Only 2,000? Oh, there we go. 2.5, so that's really good. Now the Stalker won't do much. He needs to rebuild the robotics bay. Way too late. He has no splash. And without splash, 2-2 two, two against 1-1. One, one. No Mothership Core to help either. Enough Medivax to heal, nice force fields will buy him a little bit more time. This one marine having a hell of a time over there, killing all those probes. Ah, this pylon! Wow! Very good, the uh, Immortal are helping a lot here and it looks like he holds for now. He has to hold this for now, yeah, really nicely, really nicely. Reinforcements have arrived, the marine died. Will it be enough? It looks like he barely can hold. He just has the upper hand in this battle. But the Immortal dies. All Medivax die as well. So Don Andre doing a really good job on, on, on holding on. Really nicely done here. And the income not looking too good for me either. So I, I thought this game was done but hey. Wait, he, he, a second robotics play? Oh, he's panicked. He is panicked. He doesn't know that he can't go for Colossus already. And this gas, those, those resources put into the second robotics play is that, first of all, it's wasted. Second of all, he would need it otherwise. So, it hurts double the amount. Oh, the Liberator here. Dealing some damage maybe? No. But nice zoning. Good force fields. Killing a lot of stuff. If you can keep on trade. Oh no, 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 no. Don't raise the immortal. No! 
Ah, that hurts. That really hurts. So this gold base is dead. At least it's denied mining. There we go, GG! And that's it for this game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.